All right, folks. Uh, <laughs> I'm back with Juan O'Savin uh, here on Nino's Corner TV. I think this might make Bluff too because uh, Juan's been telling me he wants a day off. I, I do too. I'm in a hotel room right now. Um, and Juan called me and said, hey, let's do a show just for the fun of it. I said, all right. So here we are. How's it going, Juan? Oh, it's pretty good. Um, taking a little break. Nothing like swinging on the swing. This is my favorite spot. <laughs> I <Yeah. loved> it. <laughs> if I get the boots get on the tired, swing, that's something different. Oh uh, yeah, I got it was it was moonlit night last night. I came out in the middle of the night and uh, just you know moon coming through the palm trees and everything else. It's uh, it was fun to take a break. So uh, <laughs> you know, I I could kick. I could be the littlest kid. Just having a blast. Honestly. Your voice yeah. is completely gone, so people are wondering. I mean, you've been you've been busy, man. I mean, I've been trying to get hold of you for a couple of weeks now, uh, and you've been in a, you've been in a mix of it. Yeah, I mean, um, honestly, uh, there's uh, there's a lot going on, and it's serious stuff. Um, and uh, you know, I sent you a few pictures privately uh, of stuff that was going on for me over the last few days. It was pretty, uh, you know, granted, I was at uh, some fairly enjoyable places, but the conversations taking place um, are all very, very serious, very serious people. Um, well, I, saw some of the people that, I saw some of the people you were with, and yeah, I, I will attest to that. They, they are, uh, you are some heavy hitters right now, and uh, you're in Florida in an undisclosed place. We can't say where. But uh, are those your cars, Juanito, or? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there's there's more than I've got here. <laughs> <laughs> so, pretty fun. Oh, what is uh, that, I love, uh, Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's my McLaren, actually. Uh, I love this material on this top. And uh, it's got, if you look, it's got kind of a, uh, a little bit of a reflective weave, and I have a car that would look perfect on that. I'm gonna put a top on. So I'm, uh, oh, somebody's stealing a car at the car show. <laughs> so this is nice. You know, you know, I'm wearing the Shelby stuff that we got together in Vegas, by the way. You know, let me think for a second. I don't think I've seen a single Shelby here today. Uh, I was uh, out when they were setting up this. What, what is that right there? I want, is that a Trans Am? Yeah, that's uh, the last bandit car that was commissioned uh, as an official bandit car with Burt Reynolds. Oh, nice. That's cool. That is really cool. Yeah. Burt Reynolds. So, Juan, everyone's stressing out right now, man. Uh, I got people emailing me. My email is, is just literally I get thousands a day, and they all want to know where you disappeared to, where you're at. They got to go safely that you're in Florida at a fucking car show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I um, I know it drives a lot of people nuts that, you know, I, I have my cars. I do stuff with the cars. I enjoy it. And like that, I decompress uh, with the cars. And uh, a lot of the work is just so intense um, that the way that I personally enjoy you know, some people go play golf. Uh, president was out playing golf today, and I think he'll be back later. But, you know, uh, some people go swimming. Some people go hiking. Uh, you know, I like to go off-roading. I uh, love uh, Well, I've done that with you already. Out. I've been off-roading with you. <laughs> I'm what? I said I went with you off-roading already. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> no, fucking scared the shit out. You guys kept telling me we're going to go over some cliffs and this and that. Oh, carrying the yeah. shit out of me. <laughs> you have it on oh, video. I'm glad you haven't put it on. That's there. true. That's true. Oh, that was kind of fun. But, you know, um, as intense as much of what's going on is, um, if you don't stop and take a breath once in a while, you'll just explode. Um, and, you know, uh, there's some people that I, I think I probably live and breathe this uh related to the election to uh what's going on in the state of the country as much as anybody that i personally know um i don't honestly know anybody else that is as 24 7 as as i tend to be 
Juanito, uh, Juanito, that's why I keep having you on because I'm telling you right now, like from what I see, what my eyes see and hear and, and with the people you've been around, I, I know you're highly credible and I know you got your hands full. And when I'm not able to reach you, I always think that's a really good thing. That's a good thing. That means you're really busy. And, um, you, you know, people need to understand that you do roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty. Yeah, I mean, um, even with the people where we're having very serious, important uh, conversations, uh, last night we were having fun. Uh, I saw it, you know, you saw we went down to the fights and uh, 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 had some great encounters down there with some great folks. Um, uh, you know, you saw who some of them are. What was really interesting, I, let me just add this one thing. Um, you know, a lot of the uh, kids of these folks that are, um, you know, I'll just name one of Vander Hallfield, his son, Polly. What a great kid. I am telling you, he, we had a, just a very fun time talking and uh, he gets it. He is completely um, on board, understands what the difficulties are that we're having and, uh, all in to figure out how we're going to get uh, things back on track. You know, if you've got guys like that that are paying attention and they're the next generation, uh, we're going to be fine. We got uh, just huge work ahead, but I am a little bit um, tired of all the people that think that we're not going to be able to pull it out. We're not going to be able to pull through this. We've, uh, we've been through some pretty tough stuff over the years uh, as a country people every generation has those tough moments but uh, it's in our dna and uh, people have been trying to enslave us you know as long as man's been out there but we're gonna go kick him in the fucking ass and we're gonna start over and uh, get this thing on on track again but as americans not as slaves and not as uh, uh defeated people that's the way it is you know a lot well, of people we, do need, we do need to prepare for a crash landing right well you know uh, this is a 57 uh, Caddy Beer Ritz convertible. Uh, this is what I told you you ought to get. Uh, you know, we're both big guys. The little cars are a little hard. You know, I've got yeah. small stuff. But, that is so cool. Uh, you know, I've got the last 76 Eldorado convertible, triple black, uh, came off the factory floor before they built uh, 200 all white ones. And that was the end of the big convertibles for that era. That is beautiful. I love these cars. Um, well, you know, a guy that, you know, it's fun to have the hot rods, the sport car, everything else today. But, uh, you know, this is what a guy like you or me, a businessman, and he, you live out here in the sunshine, you want to put the top down. I personally, I, I don't really want to buy anything. It's not a convertible. Um, I was up looking at uh, something earlier and talking with the manufacturer on the uh, Glackenhaus. And uh, uh, they may come up in Connecticut uh, talking to Nat. And uh, they're building an amazing car, just amazing. Uh, he's got a thing he's doing with Leno uh, here in a few weeks. Then he's going to come back through Vegas. I'm going to try and get him over to the track and do something. Uh, Joey Gilbert's got something going over there. I'm going to see if I can get him over there. But, you know, um, we got people still building amazing cars today right here in America. Nobody's shutting us down. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of really tough, really, really, really tough stuff coming because some assholes have been uh, trying to dismantle the country from the inside out, a bunch of mobsters. Um, we know, we know that gonna, tough stuff's coming. Kick when, are we, when are we going to see them fucking pay for it is what all I care about. I, I want to see these pieces of shit pay for what they've done to this country, to all the American uh, citizens. We've all been put through fucking hell and like everyone just wants to know when's payback coming, Juanito. Is it coming? Well, uh, it is coming. We have stuff going on every day. I mean, I've been hard at it and I know stuff that's going on behind the scenes. Uh, those people that thought they're going to get away with trying to uh, be traitors and destroy America from the inside out. Um, it's not going to work. Uh, you saw some of the pictures of who was uh, here the other day. And uh, I can guarantee you uh, there was some serious hand wringing going. I love the way that Trump, man, he leans right into the table. He says what he's got to say. He's not backing off. 
um, you know, Dude. these people are not going to get there. By the way, you know, everyone's, say, everyone's talking about 2024, that he's running in 2024. Can we second set the record straight right here? Is he running in 2024? Or is this going to be before? I don't see how we could go to 2024, Juanito, and then and then not be able to uh, uh, punish the people that would they that stole the election and all that. I mean, how how would this? It makes no sense to me. It would. I can you clarify on that for me, please, just a little bit. Well, let me just say something. You know, we were overlooking at the caddy a second ago, and uh, that's a '57 caddy. Um, our guys were coming home from Korea, and uh, you know there was all sorts of bizarre wild things going on uh Truman uh had fired MacArthur because he did uh the run around there at Inchon and uh, uh cut off the supply lines for the Chinese because uh, Truman was letting the uh UN know everything they were doing before they did it he had to check in with them and uh you know tell them every move the Chinese would be there waiting for them when they got there and uh, Truman got tired of that, grinding up our guys, the meat grinder. And so he had all these troops coming home. And then uh, to punish the American people, the way the banks and everything else worked, it, uh, he had a big depression. So a lot of people like their 55, 6, 7 Chevys and Fords and a lot of the other cars. 58, you know, I had a 58 uh, Corvette for a lot of years uh, with the... Uh, what they call the walrus tusks on the back trunk lid, you know, piles of chrome and everything. Same thing with uh, the 58 caddies and uh, impalas and like that. They were considered ugly ducklings, not because the cars were ugly, but because everybody put the brand on those cars as the depression year. Uh, 58, 59, you're in the middle of a, of a depression. Uh, the economy was way flat. And so uh, people, has started to give up hope. My buddy, uh, Earl Madman Munz, uh, he got out of the car business in that uh, period because uh, uh, he went into vetted car stereo, made the first uh, four tracks before there were eight tracks, before there was cassettes and stuff like that. But the car thing, it just went very flat in that era. And so what, what you have to remember, people were, it's the end of the world, it's all over. There was so much depression. Eisenhower comes in and says, beware of the military industrial complex. You know, meeting I had the other night here, uh, uh, you know, I've amended it. Beware of the military industrial media, uh, political, um, uh, medical complex. And uh, oh, yeah. uh, because of all the, the crap that's going on around the world. And uh, um you, we've had these cyclically um, artificial uh, economic crises over and over and over, some worse than others. Every time they happen, uh, it's the end of the world. We'll never recover. I remember when the Japanese were buying up all our real estate and it was going to be all over for America. We were going to be toast. It's kind of like my S7. Yeah, but I mean, we're, we're in the... A well, worst but, uh, than we've ever this been. is different. But then again, remember, Nino. I mean, I'm I'm just I'm just speaking truth here. Your phone went off. Hold on. Let's see here. There we go. Somebody called me. Sorry about that. Um, uh, I'm just speaking truth here, Nino. Every time this happens, including the political stuff. It's the end of the world. We're never going to recover. All the way back at Tammany Hall with uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt. He got rid of all the corruption at Tammany Hall. We had stuff going on in Chicago. A lot of the reason they burned down Chicago was Chicago fire. Supposedly with Betsy the milk cow burning it down. No, they wanted to burn down uh, uh, much of Chicago to rebuild it a different way. And it was a political thing, too. We've had this kind of shit going on as long as America's been out. I hate when they turn those vents around. That's so frustrating. Looks stupid. <laughs> nice car, but uh, kind of dumb. Uh, Nino, we could get, this is your car. <laughs> Something that would look good in. I love it, man. Over at, uh, over at Kona. That'd be perfect, <laughs> man. Perfect. Uh, That's my style. 
Yeah. I love these Just cruise. old Jags. Uh, that was the other one. Oh, Jackie's up there. Uh, you know, if you don't know it, uh, Jackie Seagal's TV show, The Queen of Versailles, um, the first episode is coming out on March uh, 28th. And uh, so she's actually just, a, you know, a beautiful person. Uh, she and her husband, David, put together a, a, the Victoria's Voice that you've had the folks on before. Right, right, right. And uh, uh, I, In fact, I still, need to, I still need to make contact with them because uh, I've got their books and everything. They've reached out to me. I've reached out to them. And then we just keep missing each other. So got to make yeah. that happen. Yep. Um, let me just say hi to somebody here real quick. Hey, girls. Hey. hey, Nina just called me. She was nervous that you didn't get it. Oh, I got it. I got but it. But I told her you didn't. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with that. So, <laughs> doing guy stuff, right? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, people get in this mode where it's never going to get recovered. America is a very big tough place and those assholes that think that they're going to rip us apart from the inside and we're not going to come back and kick them in the ass are wrong we're not that weak-minded we're americans come on grow up but uh, but are uh, we gonna okay but we are gonna come in for a crash landing right well we just need to buckle up we got some really tough stuff but you know what um if a giant comes down because you throw a rock in his brain uh he has a really hard day. Which team's going to have a hard day? These guys are trying to, to destroy us. We're not the ones going down. They're the ones that are going down. There's a nice and so There's a, there's a lot partners. of stuff. And you can say that there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes, Juanito. Oh, you got to take a look at this. You know, this is the, this is the color oh, I want to nice. put my S7. Okay. Look at that's that. That's nice. That's beautiful. It's pretty nice, Juanito. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> A little noisy. But no, Nino. Um, a lot of people. Why don't think you ever invite me to these places, here. man? All these people here are taking a breath. But you know what? Even the event that's being put on here, all the money's going to a charity. All of it. All of it. All these people are having some fun, but they're doing something important at the same time. Uh, there's a lot of haters out there that would like to say that... Um, you know, these people that are doing this are somehow uh, ripping people off. They're stealing there because they're not giving it all away. So they don't have anything. Um, I've been with a pile of people, very successful people in uh, various industries over the last couple of years. They're all giving huge amounts to charities. Uh, election reform, uh, candidates that they love. They're not hoarding it. They make something and then they go out and they use some of the money from it to do good. And the technology, this car right here, built here in the US, uh, all fiber fiber, state of the art, heck of a car. Beautiful. Look at the lines on this thing. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. That's the same engine that I have in my car. Same gun. Uh, You're in heaven right now. Uh, they did something innovative here. See, that's, uh, that's a vent for the brakes up front. More venting radiator, brake radiator. 
they put the gauges on the outside of the car for when they're uh, doing it stop. That is so cool. So Juan, leave leave my audience with some hope here, man. Some hopium. And the next, interview, the next interview, we're going to get into detail about Ukraine and the whole thing, right? The uh, I'll move us a little quieter, buddy. Um, a lot of this stuff that's going on there. In fact, I was with people on the Ukraine stuff uh, yesterday, pretty extensively, and uh, a lot of developments there. Um, you know, the truth is coming out piece at a time. You have the laptop from hell. To get it. The laptop from hell. People are beginning. They're not going to get away with it forever. Uh, yes, we're, you know, having to fight through for people to understand what's really going on. But uh, the truth's coming out. The more they fight it, the more they try to draw attention away to other places, the more people keep coming back and realizing something's not right here. I the story you what, I saw up. Saki the other day asked, answering questions, and she looked like she was very disgruntled, frustrated, and almost scared, Juanito. Yeah. She was trying to answer questions about, you know, Biden's dealings with China, mm -hmm. Russia, uh, I mean, the Ukraine, and she looked like she was flustered and scared. And, and look, honestly, I think I saw some fear in those eyes, Juanito. Yeah, should be. We're going to kick these people in the ass. Um because a lot of what they're doing, oh, there we go. He's got his pet bird with him. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a lot of these people thought that they could just continue to pull the wool over our eyes forever. We'd never get onto it. We'd never figure it out. Uh, we didn't stand a chance. And the reality is, is that um, uh, as much as the internet's broken, as much as, uh, uh, you know, there's not honest communications coming from various places uh, uh, where we should get our news. There's a whole bunch more that are coming out and are talking to talk truth. Uh, and uh, they're going to have some problems, be buggy. Uh, some of their theories for how they put together their media companies like that aren't probably going to survive. Um, but uh, other ones are going to survive. We're going to come in and make a heck of a run pretty quickly here over at 107 and uh when you see me there live every day you'll know that's when we've gone full tilt but we're we're very close to that but um the uh uh they've they've got cracks in the dam those cracks in the dam are getting bigger by the hour yeah. um and people are coming, starting to solidify to back up some of the people that, uh, you know, like Tina Peters that are being attacked. Um, in the end, if they think that was a good idea, they're going to be sadly mistaken. They're going to be very embarrassed. Uh, you know, do we, do we have a time frame? Do you, do you think anytime this year, next year, 2024, is it going to be before 2024? What are we looking at? Like what's a time, if you had to guess, a guesstimate. You saw the people I was with over the last uh, week and a half, right? Yeah. Yep. Do they look like they're, uh, even though they're relaxed and they're not doing anything, like they're selling their cars, their houses, they're, you know, no. digging deeper in the bunker? No, they don't look Do worried. they actually look like they're afraid? I will tell you one thing. One of the people that formerly was being as smug and smart ass as you get sure was beat red and flustered the other day when the president stuck his head over across the table in his face because they know that we're not screwing around so oh, i just can't wait when you do i can't i'm this oh it's got it can't happen soon enough people want to be validated they want to be you know justified they want to you know what they well, do let's, let's use an example nino uh, the guys that went up there to uh, Nye County there in Nevada the other day made their presentation one of many uh, that are happening behind the scenes but that was an official open uh, uh, hearing and what happened the commissioners when they heard the details in person they couldn't um, hide from the uh, facts that were presented to them 
and uh, legal issues they were gonna be faced with. So in order to get out of the way of what's coming, the Nye County commissioners there in Nevada voted five to zero across the board win not to use anything but a paper ballot moving forward. Wow. Why? Because there's no security. It's impossible to secure the other systems. They can do all the talk they want, but you're not going to uh, secure those other systems. It's just, it, you know, um, there's always, you know, back doors. Anybody writes a program, what's the back door? And there's a general rule. That's why even with so, uh, so, what we did over at 107, so we, we did it all ourselves in-house. There's no back doors for anybody. So we are making we are making headway. We are making headway. But my thing is this: is that you know this guy's tanking the United States. We're going down. We're going to crash and burn. I mean, are we going to have a crash landing, or are we going to, or are we going to crash and burn? You know what I mean? It's like it's coming down to the wire, and it's like I feel like we give them any more time to kick the can down the road, we're fucked. Well, again, it's an Esther moment a near-death experience for america the reality is um you know yeah it's gripping uh it's a near-death experience it's not a death experience you want to see what it would be like to live under these monsters rule moving forward on a continuous basis uh, no. the purpose of these various other um legal systems uh political systems communism whatever uh you, you have to be enslaved they have to keep the people controlled 100 percent with you know a uh um oh uh, animal farm kind of a mentality uh but we're americans we get that and again it's in our dna you know and you know, I was looking at the Dino Ferrari just a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, in fact, I had dinner with a Dino the other night too. Um, but uh, no, uh, it's coming unraveled in ways that they can't possibly seal up all the holes in their mischief. And more and more is coming out by the minute. Some of the stuff that uh, we've discovered um over the last few months which we've been discussing uh, behind the scenes is just so compelling um that uh you know even uh judges and juries won't be able to look the other way yeah, or, but they have the judges this. in their pockets they got the juries in their pockets that's what it seems like not all of them nino america isn't just the mobsters just because it looks like the mobsters are winning everything and they got the biggest guns and everything else looks, uh, it, it's a facade, okay? The reality is uh, we're a bigger country than that. On the numbers, there's more good people than bad. It's like saying, oh, we're Sodom, we're gonna get burned up and get thrown in the ash heap of history. Bullshit. The bad guys are going to get burned up and thrown in the ash heap of history. America is innately good. That's what de Tocqueville said when he came here and visited. Yeah, there was corruption. There was problems. There was bizarre things. Uh, some of his observations were just, you know, wild to him. Uh, you know, people living like they were feral humans in, in the uh, uh, Adirondacks. But at the end of the day, those are all slices on the aggregate, on the whole. He said, uh, the greatness of America is its goodness. And just like with, with uh, Job or with uh, Lot, uh, when the angel came to tell him that he had to get out of here because the city was going to be destroyed and he pled with God, you know, I find 50 people, 20 people, 10 people that are good men. Will you spare the city? And he couldn't find that. That's not America. America has lots of good people. And they're not just good people that are out of sync with God. You know, there's a lot of people that do nice things like that's going to get them to heaven. Uh, 
there's a lot of very strong um, God-fearing people here in the country and they're, you know, fighting every day. And uh, I would argue they're winning the day. Um, you know, uh, I, it was bizarre, but they're at the fight last night. Um, we had lots of guys talking about their faith that were in their uh, uh, fighting. And uh, uh, it's, you know, uh, even Paul in the uh, New Testament <clears throat> talking, talks about fighting the good fight. Um, a lot of symbology in there. Uh, it's no cakewalk. You know, they had to take one of the guys to the hospital after the fight. Um, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. But it you know what? Part of the business. Uh, we might have a few people having to go to the hospital over this fight for the country, but this is a lot more critical. It's not just a demonstration, but I'll tell you what, knowing what's coming down right now, I would not want to be a bad guy. <laughs> All right, let's leave it at that. Why don't let you get back to your day? Uh, I'm getting ready to go down to the pool downstairs and enjoy my day. Uh, Juanito, let's have, can we have another update in about, a, in about four or five days? Yeah, let's have a serious one here. Uh, I'll be doing quite a bit of traveling over the next few days. And let's uh, uh, have a talk somewhere in the course of that. I got to show you one thing before you go here, Dino. You know? Okay. Uh, uh, I told you. Yeah, look at this this one car. Let me get up here. Oh, and they got the fashion show going up here. I'm out here. Uh, hang tight for a second. Just enjoy this. It's too loud to talk, but just enjoy this for a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks. We are live with Juanito at the car fashion show in Florida. Not going to say where. Oh, they're getting ready for the big reveal of the new Lamborghini. So this is the latest Lamborghini. And they're going to unveil it in just a few minutes. I got a few shots for folks. It's got a straight wing. Oh, I'm not nice. a big fan of straight wings. Um, I like a bit of a curve to them. But uh, let's see this here. That's gorgeous. Oh, one of my favorite songs. Look at this. What are you drinking, Juanito? Is that just water? This one here, look at this one, Nino. Mine's yeah, I wish I was it. there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call this one Juanito takes this to the car show. It's too loud. Can you hear me, Juanito? I'm not a big fan. The wing isn't uh, uh, as cool as I like. The uh, upgraded version, which is Le Mans, has a cooler wing. Juanito, can you hear me? Juanito, Juanito, come in, Juanito. What do you think of that, Nino? Is that kind of fun? Yeah, that's fun right there. Zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that yeah, better them than me. I'd be the beached whale. Hold on. <laughs> you and me, Nino, they, they'd be sending search and rescue to save us. <laughs> down there at the, down there at the uh, Trump at the pool, you know. 
<laughs> beach whales, beach whales. No, that's Nino. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's beautiful, Juanito. Okay, bro. We'll talk. We'll talk more later. But um, no, that's good for everybody. Now. Take a deep breath. We got this. We'll come back and get real serious here shortly. Some of the stuff we just can't talk about. You know that. But I know. I'm saying enough to know it's for real. We're on. I know. This. Have a good time, Juanito. We'll catch up. All right, bro. All right. Sounds good. Later, Juanito. Bye.